Though we're coming up on 2023 when we expect to see shovels in the ground later in the year for the team's new home in Orchard Park right by the current stadium. We still don't know a lot about what the new one will look like beyond these concept renderings that the team released. But with the design and construction teams now in place, there are some details that are starting to come out. The Buffalo News recently ran this piece titled Designers of New Bill Stadium had Buffalo weather in mind, but seven feet of snow will still be a problem. It focused on how designers plan to deal with the weather here in Western New York and joining us live in studio is Tim O'Shea, O'Shea, the reporter who wrote that article. Uh, really appreciate you coming in. I, I got to tell you, um, as soon as you wrote this article, I was like, we've got to talk to him about this because this is one of those things that everyone is so interested in. And I know that you spoke with Scott Radisick uh, from the firm that's designing the stadium. And I wonder just how big of a consideration the snow and our weather generally is as they're going through this design process. Yeah, Michael, thanks for having me. And it's it's a huge concern. In fact, the first thing Scott Radisick told me when we were chatting about this is we call this designing for December. Mm -hmm. um, the Bills have a real problem getting fans to show up in December. Um, they have something in uh, that they call a show rate, the number of fans, not who bought tickets, but who actually show up and use the tickets. And for games one through six, which tend to be in warmer weather, they typically have about 95% and almost never lower than 85% of the fans show up. Games 7 and 8, which tend to be in cold, wet weather, sometimes snowy weather, they have less than 85% show up very consistently, sometimes dropping all the way down into the 60% range. Um, so they really want to create a stadium this next time around that makes fans want to be there. And the biggest things they're doing in, the, in this design for December approach is trying to keep fans warm and even more than that, dry. They want to give people a place to go warm up and they want to keep the precipitation off the fans as much as possible. Yeah, so obviously there was a lot of debate as this was all being considered about a dome or not a dome, right? Yes. Obviously, oh, the, yes. <laughs> the team has said there is not going to be a dome. Um, for one thing, it, they said it would cost a lot more, it would take a right. lot more time to build. So that is sort of decided, right? We know the there, players are going to be in the elements. Yeah, there, there was never going to be a dome. It was yeah. never, if it was ever a real consideration, I can tell you it went away very, very fast. Uh, there's a couple reasons for it. One, the, the bills are talking about, well, one is cost. I mean, let, let's, let's be straight up about it. A dome would cost enormously more money and the Buffalo Bills don't want to spend that. So that's number one. Number two, putting a roof on the stadium, you really would only want to do that, especially when the stadium is being uh, you know, publicly funded in large part. If you could draw bigger events to Buffalo on a regular basis, Buffalo, to cut to the, the end of the line here, is far too small to ever host a Super Bowl. It will not happen, and a dome is not going to make it any more possible. Um, so there really was no good reason in the Bills' view to put a dome on the stadium, and so they, they got rid of that one right away. But you do see that partial roof, they call it a canopy. That is supposed to keep about 65% of the seats covered or largely covered. Um, that is a big part. It's not the only part, but it's a big part of what they're doing to try to keep fans dry and, and give them a chance to warm up in those late season games. We saw last month, Tim, that, uh, and it wasn't the first time that this had happened, that sometimes the snowstorm is just so big that there's nothing you can do, right? You have to cancel the game here. You have to play it somewhere else. I mean, it's not every year that we get a seven foot snowstorm but they're happening every eight years. At this they rate. seem to be. Exactly. <laughs> um, and they could it, happen more often too. Exactly. You know, we is, could get more. Is there an acknowledgement among the design team here that sometimes there's just nothing you can do or is that in any way factoring into what they're doing here that, you're, that you could sometimes have these massive snowstorms? I think it's fair to say what's factoring into their thinking is that Buffalo is wet in November and December and cold, especially in December, and that isn't going to change. And so knowing that they're putting the roof on, they're redirecting the wind, they're building the stadium with a skin, a perforated skin that like soaks in a little bit of wind, sends a lot of other wind over the stadium to kind of, to try to you know, eliminate kind of that swirly wind bowl that Highmark can be. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that they're doing. Um, what a new stadium will not do anything for is a seven foot snowstorm. If those happen, and global warming, climate change trends suggest we're going to see more of those going forward. If those happen on a time on the calendar where it lines up with a game, you're still not going to see the game happen in Buffalo. And that's not because 
they couldn't clear the stadium to play football. Um, technically, theoretically, they probably could, um, but they would also have to clear all those roadways, those parking lots. And if you think about the ripple effect of that, who wouldn't be getting their roads plowed? Who wouldn't be getting their driveways plowed? It's a community resources issue. And just like if you see a hurricane in a southern state right before a football game, they're probably going to move that game. In fact, that's happened. You're going to see the same thing happen in Buffalo when we have a massive snowstorm again, like the one we had this year and like the one we had in 2014. Yeah, that's a good point. We're not the only ones who sometimes have to have to move a game. I encourage everybody uh, to go to the Buffalo News uh, and read your reporting. You've broken a lot of news in terms of how this stadium uh, is progressing. We'd love to have you back on as there's more to come. I will come back on anytime. It's really awesome. nice to be here. Thank you very much, Tim.